what's up Simvisasha 404 here and today I'm back with another video for you guys and I'm super excited because this is my skincare routine stop before we go on to the video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already we are almost to 1,000 subscribers and I'm super super excited I cannot wait I can't wait I'm gonna like celebrate we're gonna have a whole big party guys promise we're gonna have a whole we're gonna celebrate to the fullest but you have to make sure you subscribe so you can be a part of that party also don't forget to hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you guys can be notified when I upload a new video. And don't forget to check out my social media. Everything is always in the down bar below. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into my skincare routine. Let's go. Okay, guys. So, the first thing you want to do is use something to take off your makeup. So usually I use a white most of the time because I'm so lazy. Now if I have stubborn eye makeup, I would use um, some just regular coconut oil that I have in my kitchen. Um, I put it in a zip bag and keep it and just rub it because it's very safe and it gets off all your makeup. But if not, I'm feeling lazy. I just use a makeup wipe, which you guys can see here. I don't really have a specific one that I'm using right now. Um, the one I'm using in this video is I think a cucumber one and it really kind of irritated my skin. I didn't like it. I really love the simple ones because they're very, very like... Um, not harsh on my skin very gentle so I really really like those if you're looking for a makeup wipe that's really gentle and safe for sensitive skin I would go with the simple brand so yeah that's number one take off your makeup with you know a wipe or a makeup remover or coconut oil works really well and it's not expensive so yeah okay so the second thing that I do is I go ahead and scrub my face and I scrub my face using the Lush Olsen Olsen I scrub my face with the Ocean Salt Face and Body uh, Scrub. And this stuff smells really good, first of all. And it kind of looks like the ocean. I'll show you guys. But I go ahead. Hold on, let me show you guys before I put in the clip. But yeah, this is how it looks. Um, it's not too harsh. They said you can use it every day on your skin. But I just use this twice a week. One, because I have a lot of whiteheads. And also, two, because my skin is kind of dry right now. I don't know why. It's just kind of freaking out and it's dry. But yeah, that's what I use. I really, really like it. It gets everything, like all the dead skin, you can feel it coming off. Um, I wouldn't scrub really hard because it can be kind of abrasive to me. Um, maybe not for some people, but to me, I just need to do it gently and that's enough to like make it feel like it's scrubbing and getting all the dead skins and getting like you know the whiteheads off of my skin if that makes sense but yeah I really like using it and I use this only twice a week so yeah so the third thing I do is I go ahead and use a cleanser and this is the origins cheeks and balance frothy face wash mousse cleanser this thing is bomb I use this every day and at night sometimes well, I usually wash my face at night. In the morning, sometimes, if I feel like my face needs it. But most of the time, I wash my face at night. But I use this every night. I love this. It feels so gentle and so nice on your skin. Like it says, it's frothy. It's just, it feels it feels really good. I don't know how to explain it. I have a clip. I'll show you how it looks. I just, I just really, really like it. And I use this every day. So, yeah. You guys should go check this. You guys should definitely go check this out. I don't remember how much this was. But... This is a gentle face wash, cleanses both dry and oily places without canceling each other out. So this is really good. You guys should definitely check it out. Origins is a good brand anyway, but yeah, this is how it looks so you guys know. And you guys should definitely go get it. Okay. So the next thing after I cleanse and, you know, pat my face dry, I go ahead and use a eye cream. And I just started, well, not just started. I got this a couple months ago. But I just started recently doing an eye cream because I hear it's very important for you. And you should do it while you're young. So I do the illuminating eye cream. Under my eyes, I've been feeling really, really dry lately. So this is the e.l.f. one. I'm going to show you guys a close-up really quick this packaging is gorgeous and this is only ten dollars i got it from target this helps hydrate and minimize the appearance of dark circles and puffiness for glowy healthy skin anyways so i don't get a lot of sleep you guys so this has been really really helping under my eyes the darkness is going down and the puffiness so i really really like it you guys should check this out is that target they have more stuff they have like a whole skincare line that's new so if you're looking for like an affordable skincare check out oh I want the mask. The mask looks so cool. And when I get the mask, I will show it to you guys. But I really want to get the mask. But this is the eye cream. And then when I'm done with the eye cream, whatever step this is, I'll put it in. I go ahead and finish up with a moisturizer. I have to get a new one because this is done. Um, this has been really nice. It's nourishing. It's a 24-hour day and night cream. And this is from the Simple. As you can tell, like the Simple brand, like I said, get their wipes. They're really, really good. It's like done. So I need a new one. I think I'm going to try the 
e.l.f. moisturize this since I love the eye cream so much. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and I also do a mask. I don't think I have a clip of it. Or maybe I do. I don't know. Probably not. But I will do I do a mask once a week um, depending on how my skin feels. I really like mud mask and peel off mask. But right now, I only have a mud mask. But yeah, I really, really like it. Um, I love the mask. It's so relaxing and it just feels like it's pulling everything disgusting out of your skin. So I really enjoy masks. They're awesome. You guys should really check them out if you don't do masks. What are you doing? Like, you're missing out on so much. Just, just so much. <laughs> so yeah. So guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have different skin products that you think I could try out, like a serum. Um, I haven't tried a serum yet or any other project projects any other products I should try out go ahead and leave them in the comments down below and you guys can also tell me what your skincare routine looks like maybe we use the same stuff maybe we don't maybe I can copy some of your stuff you know what I mean but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already go ahead and help me get to a thousand subscribers be a part of the party we're gonna have a party when we hit 1,000 so let, let's get this party started. Don't forget to hit that bell. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media. I am big on Instagram and Snapchat. I love them. Like, I'm, I'm obsessed. I mean, but who isn't? But yeah, thank you guys so, so much again. I'll have a button here that you can subscribe to my channel. And I'll have a video right here that you can check out my last video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.